The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number 30, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 31st, 1973, in London, England. Translation O descendant of Bharata, he who dwells in the body is eternal and can never be slain. Therefore you need not grieve for any creature. Dehinitam avudhoyam Dehi sarvasabha Dehi Dehi means body. Within the body this topic began Dehi nasvindhita dehi kumavanyo nangira Deha dehi Dehi means one who possesses the body. This way, Guni, Ostate uh, in Prakta, the gravity. Guna in, Deha in, in Prakta, the Dehim Sabda. So, the nominative case of Dehim Sabda is Dehi. So, Dehi Nityam, Pitana. In so many ways, Krishna has explained. Nitta Vitaya, indestructible, immutable. Uh, it does not take bath, it does not die. It is always uh, constantly the same. Nahanati Hanamani Sajire. In this way, again he says, Nitta Vitaya, Abhodhaya. Nobody can kill, and the body is there. But Dehi is Harvasavhasya. This is very important. Not that simply in human body the soul is there, and not in other bodies. That is the aspect. Sarvasya. In every body. Even within the ant, even within the elephant, even in the gigantic banyan tree, or within the microbe, servant. The soul is there. But some rascals they say the animals have no soul. This is wrong. How you can say the animal has no soul? Everyone here, the authoritative statement by Krishna, Sarvas. And in other place Krishna says, sarva yoni su sambhavanti In all species of life, as many forms are there, eight million four hundred thousand different forms of life, tātham mahajjani brahma, mahajjani, that source of body is of this material nature, ahamabhīrapadapitā, I am the Siddhivin Thāra. And without father and mother there is no offspring. So the father is Krishna and the mother is materialist. Or spiritual nature. Uh, there are two natures. Uh, that is explained in the seventh verse. The material nature and the spiritual nature. Or the superior nature or inferior nature. Uh, just like in our body, uh, there are uh, inferior parts and superior parts. Body is the same, but still there are uh, different parts of the body. Some of them are considered as inferior and some of them are considered superior. Even two hands, according to Vedic civilization, right hand is the superior hand and left hand is the inferior. When you want to give somebody something, you must give it with the right hand. If you give it by the left hand, it is inside. Uh, two hands are equal. Why this hand is superior to this hand? Uh, so we have to accept the Vedic injunction. Uh, so although both the nature, 
spiritual nature and material nature is coming from the same source, absolute truth. Janmārda Sajatahā, everything is emanating from Him. He says there is inferior nature and superior nature. What is the difference between inferior and superior? In the inferior nature or in the material nature, God consciousness uh, is almost me. Uh, those who are in the modes of goodness, they have little God consciousness. And those who are in the modes of passion, they have got less degree. And in those who are in the modes of ignorance, there is no God consciousness. Completely degrees. Therefore, this body, although this is material, coming from the same source, still it is inferior. So when the Dehi or the uh, spirit soul, although by nature it is superior than the material nature, but still because he is encased within the material nature, he is forgetful of Krishna. This is the problem. <coughs> but as it is stated here uh, that Dehi Sarvas Sarvasa Dehi, the same spirit is there. Therefore, those who are not rascals, those who are intelligent and in complete knowledge, they do not find any distinction between a human being or an animal, Pandita Samadarsana. Because this Pandit is learned, he knows that the spirit soul is there. Vidya Vinaya Sampanmi Brahmani. Within me, first class, Nana Brahman, there is the soul, the same quality soul. Vidya Vinaya Sampanmi Brahmani, Gobi, in the cow, Hastani, in the elephant. Suniche, Suniche, then the dog, Chandale, the rest uh, kind of human being, everywhere the soul is there. Uh, it is not that simply uh, a human being there is soul or a hard demigod there is soul and poor animals have no soul. No, everyone has. Dehi Sarvasya Bhar. So whom we shall accept, the statement of Krishna or some rascal philosopher or some so-called religion, whom we shall accept? We shall have to accept Krishna, the supreme authority, the supreme being. He says, Sarvas, many places, Krishna says. Therefore those who are learned, they do not make such distinction that it has no soul. Everyone has got soul. Tasma <coughs> sarvani bhūtāni. Again he says, sarvani bhūtāni. Nattam sūchitam marasī. It is your duty. Krishna is simply stressing on the point that the soul is eternal, it cannot be killed. In so many ways, the body is perishable. So it is your duty now to fight. The body may be killed, body may be destroyed, but no harnati harnamani sari. But even after the destruction of this body, the soul exists. He gets another body, that's all. Dehantra, dehantra prati. Dehantra prati. You must get another body. And uh, this will be explained in the next verse also. For a kshatriya who are engaged in fighting in uh, religious fight, fight must be religious fight. Uh, the cause must be right. Then the fighting is all right. The kshatriya came in the uh, religious fight, 
He is not responsible. He is not sinful. <coughs> that is stated. Just like Brahman, he sacri- he puts in sacrifice some animal. <coughs> that does not mean he is killing. Similarly, Sutriya, when he is engaged in killing, he is not sinful. This is explained in the next part. So it is your duty. Uh, don't be uh, worried that you are killing your kinsman or your grandfather. Uh, take it from me, assurance, the the vehi kapadhi. You cannot kill it. He is eternal. <coughs> now, dehi sarmasya bharata, this important point, uh, you should know it, that uh, every living entity, uh, the body has grown uh, on the platform of the spirit soul. The body may be very gigantic or very small, it doesn't matter. But, uh, therefore, the matter uh, is uh, produced or uh, grows on the platform of spirit. Uh, not that a spirit comes into existence or living force comes into existence by the combination of matter. This is a scientific point. Uh, matter uh, is dependent on spirit. That what is called inferior. Jayedam dharjate jaga. Dharjate. Uh, it bears. The spirit is there, therefore the gigantic universe is resting on the spirit. Either the supreme spirit, Krishna, or the small spirit. There are two kinds of spirit. Uh, Atma and Paramatma. Ishara and Parameshara. So, uh, uh, the matter uh, is explained by Krishna. Aparayam itasu vidhini pravitim para jayinam dhar jiva bhuta mahava jayinam dhar jati jaga. So, spirit is there. Everything is explained in Bhagavad Gita. The gigantic big, big planet. Why it is floating, weightless, in the air? That is also explained. Dhamarisha hum dharam ojasar dharayami. That's just uh, try to understand. A big 747 uh, aeroplane taking 500, 600 passengers uh, is floating, flying in the sky without any difficulty. Uh, why? Uh, because the pilot is there. Not the machine. Don't think that it is a gigantic machine. Therefore it is flying. No. The pilot is there. The machine is there also. But the floating is depending not on the mechanical arrangement, but on the pilot. Is there any disagreement? If the pilot is not there, the whole machine immediately falls down. Immediately. Similarly, the statement of the Bhagavad Gita, Dhamma Vishnu Hamudusha, Krishna enters into the gigantic planet. He is within the Annantarastham Paramanuchayantarastham. This is stated in the Brahma Sangita. Ekap Pasura Chayatam Jagadanda Koti Jatshakti Rasti Jagadanda Chayadadam Tam Annantarastham Paramanu Chayantarastham Govinda Madhukusam. Come on. Without Krishna entering into the matter, uh, nothing can work. Annantarastham, within this universe, he is there as Garbhoda Kasai Vishnu. Uh, therefore, the universe exists. Uh, and within the universe, there are so many uh, material uh, 
I want to say, identity entities even with atom. The Shastra says even within the atom. He as Paramatma, he is within the uh, body of everyone. Not only within the body of living entities, but he is within the Paramatma. The atom. They are studying now some atomic energy. Still they are finding difficulty. Dividing, dividing, dividing. Because uh, they cannot find out that there is God, there is Krishna. Uh, <coughs> so, um, without Krishna's, uh, I mean, the presence, nothing can exist. Therefore, one who is advanced Krishna conscious, he sees uh, only Krishna, not the outward power. Because without Krishna nothing can exist. In the Chaitanya Chaitam said, Thavara Janga Dathe. There are two kinds of entities, moving and not moving. Uh, moving means Thavara. Uh, and uh, moving means Janga. Thavara uh, Janga. Thavara means not moving. There are two kinds of entities. So you can see these two kinds of entities. Some of them are moving, some of them are not moving. Uh, but a Mahabharata sees both the entities moving and not moving, but he does not see the moving or not moving. He sees Krishna. Because he knows that the moving means uh, uh, Living force. So living force, that is also Krishna's energy. And the non moving is material, uh, that is also Krishna's energy. So in everything he sees only Krishna. Premaan yana chirita bhakti vilyo chanena santa sadai varidaya suvilyo sadai. They sometimes imply, have you seen God? Those who are actually devotees, advanced devotees, he is simply seeing Krishna, nothing else. They manjana chalita bhakti vilochanina. Santa sadaiva ridayeshu. Sadaiva means always. Ridayeshu vilochanti. Yam samasandaram machinta gunasarupam. Govinda madhusam tamakam vayam. So this is you know, more you advance in Krishna consciousness, you simply see Krishna. And if you become practice to see Krishna always, sadata dhava bhavita, jana jana bhati smaran loki, tajatanti kadhi, bhava. So, if you always think of Krishna, that is Krishna's instruction also. Manmana bhava mar bhakta mar jaji all you think of. That is the first class yogi who thinks of Krishna always. Yogi nāvati sarvi sāṁ madhvata andhanātmanā vajate yomā samīrutta tamamā. He is first class yogi. And devotees, they already, otherwise why you should think of Krishna? Manmanā bhava madhvakta madhjāji. Why only bhaktas can think of Krishna always? Manmana bhava mad bhakta. Because you are my bhakta, your duty is to think of me always. This is a very difficult task. You are seeing Krishna in the temple. Uh, the more you see Krishna, 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 twenty-four hours engagement in Krishna consciousness means you will practice to see Krishna always. This is Krishna consciousness moment. You cannot forget Krishna, even for a moment. And that is the instruction. Manana Bhavamad Bhakta. Vajyaji Mahamaskur. These four things. When there is deity in the temple, you see and get the impression when out of the temple also you can see within your heart. If you have developed love for Krishna, otherwise officially come to the temple and as soon as 
both are nation. Uh, let me call it. That is another thing. Uh, that the whole process is meant for developing love for Krishna. Kavai Pumsan Paro Dharma, Jato Bhakti Radhaktaji. Bhakti Radhaktaji. That is first class agency. This is first class agency. This Krishna consciousness is the first class topmost religious system. Why? It is educating people to think of Krishna, the Supreme Lord, always. Uh, loving, not only thinking. Oh, you cannot think of anyone unless you love. Uh, if you love somebody, then you can think of him, always. Just like both lover and beloved. Say one uh, boy, another girl. So they are in love. So, both of them think of both of them, always. When we shall meet again, when we shall meet again. So similarly, manmana bhavan bhakta, you can become a devotee of Krishna, you can think of Krishna, always, provided you have developed love for Krishna. Premanyana suri, bhakti gives. By bhakti you can develop your love for Krishna. That is required. So, in the lower stage of animal life, a Krishna is there, as you say, Dehi Sarvasya Bharata. In another place, Krishna says, this Dehi or Khetragma, the owner of the body, is there. And there is another Khetragma, another owner. That is Krishna. Khetragancha api manaviddhi sarva khetri ki bhava. And the individual soul is there within the body. Similarly, the super soul, Krishna is also there. Both of them. Both of them. But he is the uh, owner of all bodies. All bodies. Uh, Sometimes Krishna is accused by the rascals that why he dances with other's wife. But actually he is the proprietor. They uh, sarvasya bharata. I am not proprietor. He is the proprietor. He is the proprietor and dances with his, uh, I mean to say, medsarvants or devotees. What is the wrong there? What is the wrong? He is your proprietor. You are not proprietor. Being uh, Sarvasya Bharata, he, he, the individual soul is in every body and the super soul. Super soul is the real proprietor. Krishna says, Jagbhaktaram Jagbhaktaram Sarvaloka Maheshara. Maheshara, he is the supreme proprietor. Suidana Sarva Bhutana, his actual friend. Uh, if I have some lovers, I am friend. I am not friend. Actual friend is Krishna. Suidam Sarva Bhutana, as it is said. Tasma Sarvani Bhutana. Krishna is the real friend. So, if the gopis dance with the real friend, what is the wrong there? What is the wrong there? But those who are rascals who do not know Krishna, they think it is immoral. It is not immoral. That is the right thing. Uh, right thing. Krishna is the uh, real husband. Uh, therefore, he married sixteen thousand one hundred eight wives. Why sixteen thousand? If he married sixteen trillion billion twice, what is the wrong there? Because he is the real husband. Several Loka Mahasra. So one who does not know Krishna, uh, rascal, they accuse Krishna as immoral or Omar hunter, like that. And they take pleasure in this. Therefore they paint pictures of Krishna. His affairs with the gopis. Uh, but if they do not paint pictures how he is killing counsel. Uh, I was killing the demons. They do not like this. This is all. 
they for their devotee for their business of devotee they like to be supported by krishna krishna is that this krishna is become in mind and so therefore we are also in mind we have great devotee because we are in mind this is what therefore to understand krishna he requires a little better intelligence better bhavanam janmanam arthi janva ganman mein to first class intelligence why man prabandhate he understand what is krishna vasudeva sarvani ki samahatma sudurlab such kind of intelligent mahatma you can find out rascal mahatma simply by changing dress without krishna consciousness declaring himself as god as krishna kick on their face Uh, Krishna, Krishna is different from all these aspects. But if you understand Krishna, if you are so fortunate, here we are not only having the kono bhagavan, only the most fortunate person can understand Krishna. What is Krishna? Here there are many, many millions and trillions of living entities within this universe, and they are rotating. In different species of life, eight million four hundred million. These were unfortunate, simply repetition, birth and death, birth and death in different. How does that? If one is the greatest fortunate, he is. Ah, but given the chance, Guru Krishna Kripal Pai Bhakti Lata. By the mercy of Guru and Krishna, he gets the seed of the Lord's and the Lord's. And he, if he is intelligent, unless he is intelligent, otherwise how he gets to see that is an issue. And if he waters, just like if you get a nice tree, you have to sow it and pour little little water, then it will grow. Similarly, anyone who by great fortune has come into Krishna consciousness, the tree of devotion and service, he should water it. And what is the water? Sravana kīrtana jale karaya sicca. This is what I mean. This hearing and chanting about Krishna. This is what I mean. So don't be absent from the class. This hearing and chanting is what I mean. The seed of devotion and service. If you make it official and be absent from hearing, this is most important. Savanam kīrtanam Vishnu. This is most important thing. To hear. Savanam kīrtan does not mean uh, hearing and chanting of any other entity. No. Vishnu. Savanam kīrtan. The rascals they have manufactured. Kāli kīrtan. So where is the in Shastra there is Kāli kīrtan, Shiva kīrtan? No. Kīrtan means uh, glorifying the Supreme Lord, Krishna. That is kīrtan. Not any other kīrtan. But they are man competition. Kali ki. When is in the shastra Kali ki? Dukda ki. This is all nonsense. Simply Krishna. Savanam ki tanam Vishnu smaranam parvasiva. Krishna should be watching. Krishna should be heard. Krishna should be chanted. Krishna should be remembered. In this way he will advance Krishna consciousness. Thank you very much. Very good.